What goes better with creamy, smooth Cooperstown cheese than spicy, sweet chutney? Tana wrote and has been creating chutney to give to friends for over 20 years. Now she's employed the help of local Nelson Farms to bring this tantalizing condiment to everyone. I am in Tana's kitchen here in Cooperstown, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's too bad that uh, aromas can't be translated through a camera because the aroma in this kitchen is unlike anything you can ever imagine. Uh, I'm holding in my hand a, a, a jar of chutney, and in a few seconds, I am going to not only get to taste it, but also to learn how it is made. Chutney is a, a cooked down process, usually of fruit, sugar, and vinegar. Um, most people ask me often, how is it different from jam or salsa? Um, as far as I'm concerned, it always has to have uh, garlic and ginger in it, too. I was a vegetarian, or I decided to become one and found that it was like a rocky road. Where do you find the good stuff to eat? <laughs> you, the, your mouth was looking for things, and I gravitated toward the Middle Eastern foods, and there were lots of lovely things there, and that's, that's really how. Mm -hmm. And I've always canned. I come from the, the Midwest where we did that all the time, and so I just found some recipes and started doing it. But I, I never got it right until I met uh, an Indian colleague in New York City, and she gave me an authentic recipe, which had probably 20 times the cayenne uh, of what I make now in it. And uh, she said, you never have to refrigerate this. I said, I understand why. <laughs> but I've Americanized mine. I've made it to my taste, and I keep exploring new chutneys. We are making uh, garlic and ginger. The fruit base for this is tomatoes. First we put in the tomatoes, we add the apple cider vinegar, which is the only kind to use, um, sugar, some spices called garam masala, which is a mixture of spices, lots of garlic, fresh chopped, lots of ginger root, fresh chopped, only fresh. You cannot use any other type, candied or otherwise. You're going to use a hot, make some, something hot in there, uh, I always use cayenne because it is a good heat source. You always add it as soon as you turn off. You found that the chutney is the consistency you want. Uh, then you turn off the gas, stir in the cayenne, and you're ready to go. One of Tana's secrets to her recipes is her garam masala. I'm holding a, a bottle of it here. Uh, get a hold of this because you can use it in you name it, your chili sauce, barbecue, whatever. It's a part of her chutney, and I had some of the chutney, and as it turns out, it's on top of some of the Cooperstown cheese that we talked about a few minutes ago. The chutney and the cheese, trust me, is a Cooperstown match made in heaven, culinary heaven. Mm. We've had our curds and whey, now we visit Little Boutique. If you're lost for the perfect gift, we know where to find them. Little Boutique celebrates childhood with toys, clothing, and gifts for your favorite kids. It is located at 175 Main Street and is open today until 3. I've seen a lot from out of here, bars and front of dozens more. Through those times, I never felt the smoke. Right next door is the Lemon Tree Shop, a cozy little store full of cottage comforts. The air is filled with the delicate fragrance of handmade soaps that beckon you to take a closer look and smell. Yes, I do anything for you. The shop also celebrates the art and joy of cooking. And look, it's Tana's chutney. The cheese and chutney appetizers were wonderful, but we've been filming all day and we're getting really hungry. Alex and Ika are expecting us, and we've heard great things about this unique restaurant. While you are here at Alex and Ika's, there are a few things you should check out. The tables and the bar, because take a look at the bar. This is from the last bowling alley that existed in Cherry Valley. And then look up a little bit, and you will see that the, the glass cabinet uh, might be familiar too. That was what used to hold the shoes at the bowling alley. We started in Cherry Valley in 1997 and we've been
here. We moved here last spring, so it's just about a year now. Background, art college, film school, um, not a lot of cooking school, but I got tired of not having, not being able to make a good living, so decided I always loved to cook, so I decided to go actually work. So I was a line cook, and I became a chef, and I worked through my way up in restaurants in Key West and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very chef driven. You know, I, I, I'm the owner and I do, you know, almost all the cooking myself. You know, I do have some help in the kitchen, some very good help in the kitchen. And it's, it's creative. I've, I've actually, I think partly because of my background coming from an art background, it was important to me to be able to basically do what I want to do. You know, something I really put my heart into. And it's, it's exciting for me to actually be able to do something creative and make a living. Boy, he really hit the nail on the head when he, he mentioned the fact that he had gone to art college and film school. The feeling that I had eating here was indeed that it was artfully presented. Uh, the taste was, if you can describe taste as being artful, it was because uh, the taste of everything was just a little bit different, but absolutely phenomenal. Something else that Alex said that really rang a bell with me when he said that this was chef-driven, you can see that here in the surroundings and the food, and I can say thank goodness that Alex is the driver. When you come here this week, and they're open Wednesday through Saturday, if you mention Mohawk Valley Living, you'll be given a complimentary glass of wine with your entree Let's or a glass of sake. We can see. It's time for the Cooper Group's road trip. It's time for the Cooper Group's road trip.